Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in a wall for a wall plate. So in this case, I've already checked in this wall. I know there's no power in the wall at all. And I know that my cable is already inside the wall around about here. I've measured the height of the other wall plates already in this room, and they're at 465 millimeters. So I've just measured it up there with my tape measure, and I've put a mark at the center. So that's going to be the center mark where the middle of the wall plate is going to go. Now I can take a C-clip like this, and I can actually put that such that the mark I've made is at the centre of the C-clip. I can actually trace around that. But in this case, I've actually got a template. So this is a little spirit level in there, and it provides a template you can draw around. There's also cardboard versions of this available as well. You can get, or you can just measure it up and just trace around that. So I've now got a good clear mark of exactly what I want to cut. So now I just take a jab saw, so this is a plasterboard jab saw, and just carefully make a incision into there. And now I just cut around my line very carefully, put it nice and neatly and not go too deep because otherwise you get on the other side of the wall. Plus even though you've been careful and checked that there's no power in there, you don't know for sure. So you want to be careful and make sure you don't hit anything that might be in the wall, including water pipes and other things that could cause a problem. So now I've got a very nice neat hole there, and I can reach around and see if I can find my cable. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've got our cable through, we just need to terminate the end of that. So I'm just going to strip the cable. You can see another video where I show how to do this. Just terminating that with an F connector. Alright, so that's ready to go. And now to get our plate ready. So this is just a standard clips of single plate. And I've got an insert here for F connectors to PAL connectors. So I just push that into the plate. The screwdriver like so. Right, so that's now in the plate. So now I can just screw the F connector onto the back of that. Alright, so that's firmly connected. Alright, so I'll put the excess cable back into the wall. I'll probably pull some of that back. But you need to leave a little bit of slack in the wall so you can get the socket off. You know, at least that much in case you need to do some re-termination in the future. Take my C-clip and just carefully thread that through the hole and drop that down so now it's on there. So if you just come around, have a bit of a look at that. You can see you can get access to the screw holes and the clamp is held in position. So we take our screws out of the corner of our plate, put the plate back onto the wall. Like so, get our screwdriver. And we didn't just screw it into the holes. So we start on one side first. And do the other side. Get them started. Right, so they're both started now. So now I can push that back onto the wall and tighten it off. So I just go tend right into um, just a loose hold on the wall first of all, so I can then get it level. So 
I haven't firmed it right on entirely. I can take my template, in this case I've got a level on my template, and I can straighten it up. But again, be careful with this, you might want to just eyeball it because depending on what everything else on the wall is like, if everything else is crooked in your tray, you'll look wrong. Now that I've got that right, let's tighten them off. Doesn't need to be too tight. And now I put the surround on. And now I've got my socket on the wall.